Hello YouTube, hello boys and girls, I'm Morphin and today I will start a new campaign from Imperator Augustus campaign pack. We've got it all for free, all who had the game before the release of patch 15, we got this campaign pack for free. I was trying out the game before recording, tried few different factions and I must say that all those factions have huge amount of territory at the beginning and there is a really a lot of things you have to micromanage look for example a party, look how many settlements and provinces they have check out the Rome, same thing tons and tons of settlements and provinces you have to micromanage and since you have just started you don't know which settlements need what upgrades really a lot of different things you have to work on before you can proceed forward conquering new land but i'm sure that you can get used to it it's nothing extra hard but it demands some time so you cannot start and rush straight forward like a blind man and just attack 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 you have to review the current situation watch for all the different settlements you have make the upgrades you need and corrections probably check out all your armies all your leaders and general statesmen you have to watch for the gravitas and your politics because bad decisions can lead you to a to a bad game even a civil war that can now be avoided if you play the game very well and if you are able to balance all your characters that you have so uh, enough of talking I will start to play with the Lepidus I hope that we will see an interesting game and that you will have fun as much as I let's start the campaign on a normal difficulty and I will see you over there all right we are finally here we are playing Imperator Augustus let's see what do we have let's first select uh, technology I already have a civil part of the tree unlocked so let's go with the military supply reforms uh, as I said our territory is quite stretched out I have one agent here, let's uh, set him to administration, he will also rise a lot in influence. By the way, uh, one thing that I have noticed is most of my provinces have quite low Latin influence, Latin culture at 50% rising by 1.2 then we have a uh, Hispania 60% and dropping so let's do uh, let's give this province a romantization edict plus 3 conversion to Latin culture and minus 25% auxiliary recruitment cost I will give that edict to all provinces where Latin culture is dropping you can see that it is dropping really fast in Africa so let's go with the romantization I only can set two edicts can have two dignitaries two spies two champions four fleets and eight armies Lepidus dynasty I have two generals uh, ambition one ambition ambition is quite important especially now when politics are improved so uh, characters with a higher ambition will get gravitas much faster and will get influence faster so always watch for highly ambitious characters this one have ambition of three let's uh, let's bribe him it's a quite cheap politic action only 225 and I can get such an ambitious general on my side 
Uh, he has accepted the offer. All right. I will try to keep uh, the politics balanced. I don't want other characters to stand out too much. I wanna. I know that I can avoid a civil war, but I will try to balance things out so it will happen later. I don't wanna avoid it at all. I will let the civil war probably happen in uh, in the future, but I will try to. I will try to destroy other factions be before going into a civil war, at least those factions that are posing a threat to me. Alright, uh, let's now develop my provinces. Hispania. One more thing that I don't like in Rome is how those are pro those provinces are designed. So sometimes it is ca quite hard to stay organized and know exactly where each province is if you do not of course use this province list on my right side. I currently don't have any wars. Those guys are my clients my client state and all other factions are neutral toward me except Roman families that actually hate me so what I will try to do is take control under the Iberia and over here I have a future frontage with Octavian's Rome so Hispania would be actually a good military province Hispania or even or even Baetica because Baetica is somewhere in the middle of Iberia and I can control the North Africa from here Numidia is also my client state I, I believe so there should not be a problem Africa will definitely be one of my military provinces but not yet over here I have a border with Antony's Rome alright let's start with Hispania let's start with Hispania I already have a field of Mars here Let's build some shrines. Shrine of Jupiter is good if you have problems with different cultures. Plus 4 Latin culture and plus 4 public order. And by the way, plus 4% wealth from all sources. So I will go with the Shrine of Jupiter here. We'll build some farms. Must save some cash for other provinces, by the way. Let's convert this shrine into a shrine of Jupiter. And build up the farms. Oh, I don't have enough cash for more. All right, I will have to end my turn. But let's first check out diplomacy screen and set up some trade deals. Got Tully. I will probably destroy them. I will have enough time I will be a patient audience for, your for some trades. Sure that you come to deliver a we'll ask a small message. payment, let's say 1500, no, maybe a bit less. 1000 should be fine. No. Your generous nature does your people credit. 
But really, such a thing is not necessary. We Maori. Welcome to the trade agreement. Let us conclude and the our payment. business with good haste and then enjoy the pleasures of this house. All right, now I have enough cash to build that shrine. And even more. How much does it cost? 700. I have eight. Let's build one shrine in Africa because Latin culture is at 60% and going down by a huge 3.5. So let's build a shrine. Let's build a shrine. That's about it. Uh, let's see. Can I trade with someone else? Cantabri? No, they are first on my list of targets. But let's trade with Iberia. They are my client state. We will gladly listen to and they offers, even have do not wrap them in lies. an iron the that they can export no to me. Trade agreement will not ask any cash. You. I greet you as we have tons of resources now that we can export, so trade should not be so a problem. Generosity is astounding, remarkable, and sadly, unneeded. We have good reason to accept such terms. And Egypt. Egypt. I am honored to receive this embassy. Nope, and they don't want to trade at all. A but they want a non aggression pact, which I will people. accept. I want to secure God my eastern border. Well with this agreement. I will make sacrifice in thanks. At least for now. Alright, that's about I it. I can end my turn. We do not I even have a navy. To be scared of the I even have a navy. I forgot to see where my armies are stationed. Alright, uh, let's move those guys closer to the future front line. But I will go this way, so I can keep a public order in control. And ending the turn. First turn in my first ever Lepidus campaign. This is only an introductional recording and Pompey's Rome is already declaring war on me. Thanks God I have enough allies, Octavian's Rome, Antony's Rome, Iberia and Numidia. And of course Romans have refused to join me in this war, so I am by myself mostly. Yeah, this is only an introductional recording, so I don't want to keep it for too long. I want to upload I it online so you can see what you can expect from my channel you can see that I'm recording quite often these days so you will see a next part quite soon uh, guy Tully wants a non-aggression pact which I will refuse I'm sure that they will not attack me either way because I'm strong enough that they are actually fear have fear of me so that non-aggression pact serves them much more than it serves me. Let's move my army closer to Cantabri province so I can declare war. And uh, that's all I will show you today. I want to save some cash for me so I can do something in the next recordings. Quite often I do everything I can, spend all my movement points, spend all the cash and then I end the recording. And then after I start a new video then I have nothing to do except ending the turn and that's boring. So I want to save some cash and some things to do in the next video. Thank you for watching guys.
and until the next time i wish you all the best and bye bye